Botswana, with a population estimated to 2.1 million people, sits on the Southern African Plateau and is considered one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. Partly boosted by a thriving tourism industry, abundant in wildlife and magnificent sceneries, such as the Okavango Delta, the largest inland delta in the world. As a strategy to further develop the country's economy, the Botswana International University of Science and Technology BUST, was established in 2005 to usher in a new dimension to the economic diversification drive. This first ever specialized tertiary institution in Botswana creates an opportunity to generate skilled graduates who will in turn contribute towards the diversification of the country's economy. BUST has put in place strategies aimed at ensuring that students engage in applied research. Natural resources are not there forever. At some point in the future, diamond resources will go down. The question is what after that? So the need now is for uh, hulking up the skills development level of Botswana so that we can then transform into services and other industrial sectors that will enable the country to be sustainable economically. The university received its first intake of students in August 2012. Its approach is to help transform into a knowledge-based economy. Whenever you have a small-sized country in a region where you have big-sized countries, uh, economic development that rides on science and technology becomes the harmonizer. It equilibrates opportunities. For example, Singapore is a small country in the neighborhood of China, but it has done so well because it's done well in science and tech. We know of Mauritius in Africa. Mauritius is not too far away from South Africa, but it has one of the best economies in uh, Africa. And it has some of the big universities in Africa, they are doing very well, their schools, and they are doing well in science and tech. The University of Mauritius does well. So Botswana has to follow that. We are in the neighborhood of South Africa, a much bigger economy. As a result of that, we need to be very nimble and innovative. It is not possible to have both circumstances unless there is focus in science and tech. And this is why BUST is trying to play that role for Botswana. It is well furnished with state-of-the-art facilities, is spacious and provides a conducive learning environment. BUST offers a variety of science and engineering courses which are critically needed in Botswana and the whole of Africa. Every country needs a pyramidal system in which you have those kinds of technicians that are very familiar with some machines. Some needs to be mathematical modelers. So you have a whole skill set that ranges from the technical level to the highly scientific level. The university creates that structure. The university fosters that structure, uh, adds to the bag of knowledge. That's how we improve uh, the well-being of our citizens. It is expected to attract students from all corners of the world and present them with a platform upon which they can accomplish their goals. We've signed a very active agreement with Akita University in Japan. We have signed an agreement with China University of Mining, Science and Technology. We've signed agreements with universities in Korea, in Brazil, and many other places. So this is the nature of international universities. We'll continue to do so, and these agreements focus on research, exchange of students, exchange of faculty, um, proposal development for projects, and things of that nature that will promote our image and produce substantive results that we target. 
Bust not only is, is a molding and engineer of international and immeasurable quality and standard, but I mean it's, it's definitely building a leader of tomorrow, a compassionate leader of her community. My dream really is to transform this nation and in turn that will better the quality of life of my countrymen. Not only is Views a university but it's a research based institution. It allows for scientists and engineers to go into detail about their courses, emphasizing on why we did engineering and science, thus giving us that oomph and enthusiasm to continue in our respective courses. The courses are tailored to address the needs of the industry. What are the biggest problems in the area of science and technology in Botswana? The first step for a BU student is to appreciate the circumstances of uh, his or her environment and then begin to think of how they can be a part of the solution to those challenges. The university has an established Student Representative Council, or SRC, to ensure the welfare of the student's community. We partner with the university management and leadership because we believe that we have uh, the same goals in mind being to improve the welfare of the students. The SRC and the University Management Partnership is an ideal way of ensuring that the university achieves its vision. Beust is presently working in conjunction with the Bamangwatu Concession Limited Mine, or BCL, and SPEDU towards the establishment of the first underground Botswana Mining Museum and Educational Research Center. These two organizations have partnered with BUS to contribute towards educational and research development in Botswana. Since BUS offers mining courses that require intensive practical research, the partnership with BCL will facilitate effective learning through active academic participation. BCL possesses resources which will be of great benefit for those students studying mining engineering. If you are doing mining, you therefore would want resources in the process of developing your graduates, resources that will enable them to get the real practical skills. One of the major highlights is a project popularly known as Botswana Mining Museum Education and Research Center or BAMRC, which is set to attract researchers from all walks of life. Bamak also has potential to create employment and also boost the country's economy through tourism. As a measure to ensure the success of this partnership, BCL has made the decommissioned mine shaft and open pit mine available to boost. Of more interest, it's the ability to take our, 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 our learners down into the mine, make them realize the mining business as it is carried out. The management is therefore taking this as an opportunity for them to establish science research labs since one of the objectives of the university is to administer not only theoretical but also applied research in order to produce quality graduates with relevant skills. The university's primary objective is to produce well-rounded graduates possessing theoretical and technical skills in their respective learning areas. My intention after leaving BUST is to be a statistician. I intend to help the research industry in Africa, our country and elsewhere. They should expect from BUST a very, very knowledgeable uh, graduate employee uh, who is going to hit the ground running. Botswana needs to have developed universities which will produce highly trained professionals who will be the driving force of the economy. With the continued support from the Botswana government, BUST will in future undertake projects that will help in expanding and upgrading it to an international knowledge pedestal. BUST Driving Change Thank you.